Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Audio Rain Books. I am very happy to share with you. If you like this audio book please subscribe and support my channel and leave comments. Let's move on to the book. The Success Principles by Jack Canfield. The book in three sentences. If you want to be successful, you have to take 100% responsibility for everything that you experience in your life. Everything you think, say, and do needs to become intentional and aligned with your highest purpose, your values, and your goals. To achieve desired outcomes, one must replace complaining with making requests and taking action. The five big ideas. You have control over only three things in your life, the thoughts you think, the images you visualize, and the actions you take, your behavior. Stated in its most basic form, the law of attraction says, what you think about, talk about, believe strongly about, and feel intensely about, you will bring about. You can lose the material things, but you can never lose your mastery, what you learn and who you become in the process of achieving your goals. One of the great strategies for success is to act as if you already are where you want to be. The world doesn't pay you for what you know, it pays you for what you do. The Success Principles Book Summary Part 1 – The Fundamentals of Success Take 100% responsibility of your life. Be clear why you're here. Decide what you want. Believe it's possible. Believe in yourself. Use the law of attraction. Unleash the power of goal setting. Chunk it down. Success leaves cues. Release the brakes. See what you want, get what you see. Act as if. Take action. Just lean into it. Experience your fear and take action anyway. Be willing to pay the price. Ask. 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 Reject rejection. Use feedback to your advantage. Commit to constant and never-ending improvement. Keep score for success. Practice persistence. Practice the rule of five. Exceed expectations. Part 2. Transform yourself for success. Drop out of the ain't it awful club. And surround yourself with successful people. Acknowledge your positive past. Keep your eye on the prize. Clean up your messes and your incompleteness. Complete the past to embrace the future. Face what isn't working. Embrace change. Transform your inner critic into an inner coach. Transcend your limiting beliefs. Develop four new success habits a year. 99% is a bitch, 100% is a breeze. Learn more to earn more. Stay motivated with the masters. Fuel your success with passion and enthusiasm. Part 3. Build your success team. Stay focused on your core genius. Redefine time. Build a powerful support team and delegate to them. Just say no. Become a leader worth following. 
create a network of mentors and others who will uplevel you. Hire a personal coach. Mastermind your way to success. Inquire within. 4. Create successful relationships. Be here now. Have a heart talk. Tell the truth faster. Speak with impeccability. When in doubt, check it out. Practice uncommon appreciation. Keep your agreements. Be a class act. Part 5. Success and Money Develop a positive money consciousness. You get what you focus on. Pay yourself first. Master the spending game. To spend more, first make more. Give more to get more. Find a way to serve. Part 6. Success in the Digital Age Master the technology you need. Brand yourself with an online persona. Use social media in a way that enhances your reputation. Use the exponential power of crowdfunding. Connect with people who can expand your vision. The Success Principles Summary If you want to be successful, you have to take 100% responsibility for everything that you experience in your life. Everything you think, say, and do needs to become intentional and aligned with your purpose, your values, and your goals. Everything you experience today is the result of choices you have made in the past. You have control over only three things in your life, the thoughts you think, the images you visualize, and the actions you take, your behavior. The day you change your responses is the day your life will begin to get better. Complaining is an ineffective response to an event that does not produce a better outcome. Learn to replace complaining with making requests and taking action that will achieve your desired outcomes. If you find yourself in a situation you don't like, either work to make it better or leave. The only thing that will change your results is to change your behavior. One of the easiest ways to begin clarifying what you truly want is to make a list of 30 things you want to do, 30 things you want to have, and 30 things you want to be before you die. This is a great way to get the ball rolling. To create a balanced and successful life, your vision needs to include the following seven areas, work and career, finances, recreation and free time, health and fitness, relationships, personal goals, and contribution to the larger community. If you limit your choices only to what seems possible or reasonable, you disconnect yourself from what you truly want, and all that is left is a compromise. Stated in its most basic form, the law of attraction says, what you think about, talk about, believe strongly about, and feel intensely about, you will bring about. You can lose material things, but you can never lose your mastery, what you learn and who you become in the process of achieving your goals. One of the great things about living in today's world of abundance and opportunity is that almost everything you want to do has already been done by someone else. One of the great strategies for success is to act as if you already are where you want to be. The world doesn't pay you for what you know, it pays you for what you do. Many people fail to take action because they're afraid to fail. Successful people, on the other hand, realize that failure is an important part of the learning process. 
If you want to remain calm and peaceful as you go through life, you have to have high intention and low attachment. If you want to be more successful, you have to start hanging out with more successful people. An important part of any focusing regimen is to set aside time at the end of the day, just before going to sleep, to acknowledge your successes, review your goals, focus on your successful future, and make specific plans for what you want to accomplish the next day. If you are going to become more successful, you have to get out of denial and face what isn't working in your life. Successful people adhere to the no exceptions rule when it comes to their daily disciplines. To learn and grow in life, you need to be teachable, too. Of course motivation is not permanent. But then neither is bathing, but it is something you should do on a regular basis. Jim Rohn When you do something you love with passion and perseverance, you are already a success. The most successful people I've met love what they do so much, they would actually do it for free. Ask yourself, what is the why underneath what I am doing? If you can get in touch with that, it is a lot easier to get enthusiastic about whatever it is that you have to do. Successful people speak words of inclusion rather than words of separation, words of acceptance rather than words of rejection, and words of tolerance rather than words of prejudice. Always ask yourself, is what I am about to say going to advance the cause of my vision, mission, and goals? Will it uplift the hearer? Will it inspire, motivate, and create forward momentum? Will it dissolve fear and create safety and trust? Will it build self-esteem, self-confidence, and a willingness to risk and take action? If not, find words that will, or keep silent. Often, we use words in a damaging way, not because we are bad people, but simply because we are not paying attention. If you choose to live by a higher set of standards, you get to watch people respond enthusiastically toward you. When you establish a higher level of personal standards, not only do you get better treatment from those around you, but suddenly you also begin attracting others with the same elevated standards. To become wealthy, you'll need to surface, identify, root out, and replace any negative or limiting beliefs you may have about money. Note, for more on overcoming limiting beliefs about money, read T. Harvey's Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. The life you are currently living is the result of the thoughts you have thought, the choices you have made, and the actions you have taken in the past. Ask yourself if what you're buying is a need or a want. There is a big difference. Recommended reading If you like the success principles, you may also like the following books. Awaken the Giant Within by Anthony Robbins Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy Mindset by Carol Dweck By the book, The Success Principles Thank you for listening this audiobook. I am very happy to share with you. If you like this audiobook please subscribe and support my channel and leave comments. Have a nice day bye bye.